Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Diana O'Carroll. This week we've a watery whirlwind of a problem. Hello Naked Scientists, my name is Gary Brannigan from Salford near Manchester in the UK. My question is, while on holiday in Wales I was looking over Cardigan Bay and I was wondering what dictates the frequency of the waves. So what makes the best conditions for a surfer? My name's Stephen Salter and I'm a retired professor of engineering design at Edinburgh University in Scotland. Well, the frequency of ocean waves depends on the wind speed, the time that the wind has been blowing, and the length of the sea that it has been blowing over, which is what we call the fetch. We actually prefer to talk about the period of waves, which is the inverse of frequency, because people like to think about numbers greater than one rather than thinking about small decimals. If you started with the wind blowing over calm water, the waves start with small heights and short lengths, but these steadily increase. In deep water, the waves with the longer lengths travel more rapidly, and the growth continues until the speed of the waves is about the same as the speed of the wind when it can't put any more energy in. And we describe this as a, a fully developed sea. There'll actually be a mixture of periods, and people are quarreling about how you define the period in a mixture of them. Real seas often have a spectrum with more than one peak showing that the waves have come from more than one place or maybe that the wind speed changed while they were growing. Periods in seconds are of the same sort of order as wind speeds measured in meters per second, a bit more or a bit less depending on how you define your period. And most sea waves have periods in the range 5 to 15 seconds with the longer ones coming when you've had a, a really fast wind blowing for a long time over a long bit of sea. So it is the wind speed and the distance, or fetch, over which the wind has been blowing that determines how often the waves hit the shore. And did you know that with the breakers surfers use, the waves curl around because the bottom of the wave is slowed down as the water becomes shallower. It'll only start to break when the depth of the water is 1.3 times the height of the wave. And from macro-sized sea waves to the tiniest waves on our bodies. My name is Simon Kappa. Fingerprints are very useful for identifying people. But what was the original function of fingerprints? If you know why we have fingerprints, then tell us either by email, that's chris at thenakedscientist.com, or write it on the forum. All you have to do is sign in and write what you think for all to see. The address is thenakedscientist.com forward slash forum. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the EPSRC, the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com.